What's up guys, Tobias here bringing you another question and answer video this time. I know they went down well before the release of FIFA 12, so this time I've got a question and answer video with the developer of the new FIFA Street that is going to be released. Um, there was a question and answer video, a question and answer session with him yesterday, so um, while I read you out the answers and the questions that were asked to him, you can see in the background there is a game, uh, Head to Head Seasons, where I used a new team that Eto is playing for in the Russian Liga. So uh, yeah, you can be watching that while I just give you the answers for this question and answer video. So uh, the developer of New FIFA Street is called Sid Miras and uh, I think he was asked around 10 questions and the first one was how are you guys approaching the new FIFA Street? We, might, we notice a distinct lack of a four within the title. And his answer is, so this is a, re, a complete re, reboot of the franchise from our perspective. FIFA Street 1 and 2 and 3 were not made by the FIFA team, but the, and they were not made from the FIFA engine. This is a chance for us to bring our own product for the first time. Just from that alone, you have a lot of depth you can get into in the FIFA Street games. They didn't have, a foot, they don't, they didn't have football as an early system. Uh, so basically what he's saying in this, there's a long paragraph, I'm just going to cut it down brief. FIFA Street 1 and 2, and 3, sorry, weren't actually made by the producers of FIFA, but um, now they're going to be using the FIFA engine. Um, so how you play FIFA on FIFA 12 is that going to be the same way you play FIFA in the new FIFA Street. Um, but for some reason they're not going to be calling it 4, they're just going to be calling it the new FIFA Street. The second question then is, what mechanics can we expect to see borrowed, into, borrowed from FIFA 12? We have the latest innovation that FIFA 12 has, so impact engine and precision dribbling will be in the new uh, FIFA Street. We've kept in line with everything that we've done, layered the street on top of it. Uh, so basically, the, I know we all know by now that um, precision dribbling and the impact engine is new into FIFA 12, and they're also going to be using that exact same system, uh, links back to question one, they're going to be using it um, in FIFA Street, so uh, dribbling is going to be the same as well as tackling. Can you let us know about any of the new game modes, online or offline? And his reply was, the career mode will be calling World Tour, it's connected, social game mode. Um, it's online, it's online if you want, but the best way to experience the game is when you're connected. You create yourself and get uploaded to the servers, just like your friends and other FIFA Street players. The idea of this is that you progress through your mode, you can build a team with yourself or you, with your friends and try to... Uh, so basically, I know you could create a player in FIFA, tw uh, in, uh, FIFA Street, um, so you can do that now. You can also create a team with all your friends and then you can go through that. Uh, so basically, it is like be a pro, um, you only yourself as a player. Um, so that would be pretty good, I know uh, when I used to play, because I used to play FIFA Street 1 on the PS2 because that's when it first came out and I absolutely loved it and I've never played it since I've been making YouTube videos or uh, I've owned my Xbox. The uh, fourth question then, FIFA Street, will, uh, FIFA Street will connect to EA Sports Football Club, will we see any new features in that area? It definitely connects to the EA Sports Football Club, the idea being just as it is in FIFA 12, as you progress through the game and play it you earn XP that contributes to your level and identity, there are features that um, are kind of built on top of it also, you're not announcing that until Gary Patterson does the producer, t producer tour in January, so um, it's going to be the same kind of idea that is within FIFA 12, you earn XP for your club or whatever, um, so that would be pretty good. Um, the next question then, will you be able to use our virtual pros in FIFA Street? Uh, I'm pretty sure I just answered that myself. Yes, as soon as you get to create a player, you'll find your virtual pro and ask if you want to import this in. Alright, I see, so you can... Um, I guess you can import in, which is going to be pretty interesting. You can start right from your virtual pro, just uh, but because it's FIFA Street, it's a different type of game. Um, uh, what you may, what you may have done in FIFA doesn't really apply. So whilst whilst we want you to have the same look and experience, we still have to level up with the FIFA Street world. Um, how about game to web integration such as Creation Center? Anything like that planned? We're answering any stuff around that at the moment, but for Creation Center, no. Um, the trailers we've seen so far have centered on football being played somewhere else. How do you feel this, captured, this is captured in the game? Yeah, we, def we definitely wanted to convey the idea that it's a global sport. There's no, there's no singular way of playing FIFA Street. There's no such thing as one way. For instance, Rio Street football is very different to Amsterdam or London. In Rio, it's very, very stylish, almost dance-style football, so we've created skill moves to support that. In, in Amsterdam, a lot of... A lot of it is based on the 
Painter. Uh, I don't know what that is. So putting the ball through a guy's legs, nutmegging him. It's kind of the embarrassment factor, I guess, and we capture this through our easy to grasp controls. In London, it's a lot more of a physical game. It's almost like you're taking the club's football experience to a five a side set in a caged environment. Again, the player impact engine from FIFA 12 lets us create that physical play, and you can be a bit more tactical. Ultimately, though, it is up to the gamers how they want to play. Um, the next question, will there will there be FIFA Street specific player traits? Yes, as you grow your player, the way you choose him defines his traits and ov overall style of play. If you want a guy who is balanced, you're going to build up his attributes evenly. On the other hand, if you want a player with flair, you're going to be working on his tricks and skills. You can definitely create a type of player you want in a game. If you want, you can have a team that's all the same or very different. It is totally up to you. You can, can you give us some more details on how wall play can be used on our, on to to your advantage in FIFA Street? If you don't know what I mean by wall play, it's using the walls to your benefit within the game. Um, wall play for us is more about the way you would use it in in real life. It's it's not about doing crazy jumps off the wall. It's about shielding your ball against the wall. You know the game. You know what the game is about in its in its situation. So as the defender comes to you, you can time the moment where you want to put the ball through his legs and make your moves off the wall, or you'll just go simply over to, to escape. All time focus on protecting the ball first, and we'll try and get away. Will tactical defending make an appearance in FIFA Street? Yes, absolutely. It's just like FIFA 12, but because of our experience with the head-to-head -head aspect, we want defending to be an embarrassment factor for the attacker if you do it well. If, you're, if your opponent is trying to do fancy tricks and you put your foot on to take possession and let the attacker immediately without having to chase the ball. So what I think they've, tried, they've been uh, saying about the embarrassment factor quite a lot. I think that's going to be a main feature for them this year. So if you're playing a mate I know there's going to be a lot of shouting and screaming in the parties because um, it is all about using skill and embarrassing the person you're playing uh, instead of just uh, just going for the goals. How do you plan to capture different team styles in FIFA Street? For us it's about trying to nail the individuals uh, so who are the guys that are a bit more skillful on the ball? You'd expect a midfielder to be more skillful than a defender, certainly a goalkeeper. Put Putting the stars in the game is almost like a bonus in our opinion. We're happy that people like to play with our favourite players and we see that we um, and we see what we can do for them. We totally get that. However, we're building a game around the idea that it's your team. You want to create yourself and you can use that in to the entry point into all the other modes if you want. Whilst it's fun to play with the real stars, it's not realistic to see Arsenal playing on Shanghai rooftops. A lot of the authentic street games create some fantasy of the real stars. Um, Put, put, but really want to make it your team. Uh, I think I missed out a question up the top here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, how will futsal stand out from the other FIFA Street match types? The idea of futsal is to create a different experience compared to other um, other match types. It's almost like a grad graduation point as you as you. Well, this doesn't make sense. As you're going from wall play, um, that where it's not really about the rules and the ball can't go out of the situation where you can, you need to be a bit more careful in how you're passing and shooting. There's also going to be fouls, kickings, other futsal-based areas. You're you're going into more of a proper football experience, but with a smaller number of players. So um, I think this is going to be a com completely new and different kind of uh, FIFA compared to all the other years, because um, as as it's just said, it's going to be created of the of the FIFA actual FIFA engine which is it has never been based on before it's normally being based on their own FIFA Street engine sorry I've got to get some apple juice um, so yeah I reckon this is going to be it's definitely going to be a, a big hit on YouTube for starters I know a lot of people are going to be buying it those that didn't buy FIFA Street 3 will most definitely be buying it for uh, buying it this time around so um that's all for this question and answer video. If you do want to read all the question and answers for yourself, then um, I'll put the link to where I found this um, FIFA Street developer interview in the description of this video below. And uh, if you did learn a thing or two, then please do like the video to show you enjoyed it. And um, if you're not already, please do come over to my channel and subscribe. And until my next video, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care. Until the next time, this is Martin Tyler saying goodbye.